Good evening, friends. Steve Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And uh, just a few minutes here, I wanted to just speak about this hurricane, Hurricane Ian, that has just ransacked the state of Florida, at least southern Florida, that is, uh, starting down near Punta Gorda, uh, or actually Naples, Fort Myers, Punta Gorda, right on up through and then crossing Orlando, crossing over into Daytona, etc. In fact, a good friend of mine who's a doctor uh, in Orlando said he made one mistake. He drove to go check on his office and he said he literally was watching cars floating down the road. That's how crazy this storm is. Now, officially, uh, they put this as a Category 4. However, in the news sources there, they are saying that it's probably going to be upgraded to a Category 5 uh, because it, they do believe it had much higher winds than actually what were being stated. Now, that, that said, I wanted to share with you guys here. Let me just find it for you real quick. This here was on uh, Yahoo News, actually CBS News. CBS posted the video here. This were, these are the guys, the hurricane trackers that actually flew into Ian. Uh, and I'll just kind of show you here. We'll, we'll, we'll keep the volume down for the time being on this. But uh, as, the, as the guys were flying into the storm there, they said it was the worst they had ever flown into. The worst storm ever. This was extremely dangerous for these guys uh, flying into it. And what they were doing, though, is they were going to deploy a drone, uh, a special drone. That's the drone right there into this storm so they could track. Now, it looks just like a tube, but what happens is when that tube is deployed, the wings and everything pop out of the tube, etc., and then they're able to fly into the eye of the drone and literally track what's going on. Listen to what they say though. This gets really, really weird. It's deployed out the bottom of the plane and its mission is to no aircraft or scientists can go. The so-called boundary layer where the air and the ocean violently meet below 3,000 feet. So when these systems make landfall, we want to know what's going on in that very critical boundary layer so we can help forecasters and emergency managers make the decisions they need to make. After dropping the drone into Hurricane Ian Wednesday, it recorded 216 mile per hour winds just 2,100 feet above the surface. It doesn't record video, but the data could... I don't know if you heard that or not. 216 mile an hour winds only 2,100 feet above the surface. Now granted, surface winds would be a little slower, but let's listen to it again. Ocean waters providing more fuel for monster storms like Ian. When this flies into the eye wall of a hurricane, why does that not just shred this? Uh, it just doesn't weigh much. And we're also going to be flying with the wind. We're not trying to fight it, we're trying to go with it. And they hope it will help them improve hurricane forecasts and save Well, actually, I missed it. Let me see if I can catch it again. As climate change warms ocean waters, providing more fuel. Here we go, here we go. Listen close. Two hundred sixteen mile per hour winds at just twenty one hundred feet above the surface. That's not very high, guys. That's not very high at all. Uh I mean you're talking about, you know, well, <laughs> That that would be like getting on one of the tallest buildings in New York, and at the top of the building, you'd be able to pick up those types of winds. That's insane. Talk about hypercanes. No wonder why the people in D.C. told me they will have to end up renaming the hurricanes to hypercanes. That's how strong they're going to intensify. I'm Steve Benun. You're listening to Israeli News Live.